Hello, welcome to the Eagle 6 Airsoft video. We're going to be testing this uh, Tokyo Marie SGR12. Uh, this one has had some upgrades done on it. Um, so we've got the level 3 package, which is um, uh, the, the Prometheus Type Ball barrels. Uh, obviously three of them, because this has got three barrels. Uh, three Prometheus Purple Hop Rubbers. Uh, and we've got um, uh, the Eagle 6 3D printed hop arms uh, that are flat uh, to go on uh, either side of the... Um, uh, hop unit to, to basically uh, bring in uh, the bias that sort of um, uh, the TM hop arms put on there uh, so you get some obviously sort of slightly tighter groupings uh, at range um, that's obviously the thing about uh, the, the, the package and, and this gun is it's, it's quite weird in that uh, it is both CQB because obviously you know before it starts to hop and, and do the distance stuff it's three shots 30 rounds a second at a CQB um, and uh, and then obviously uh, when you get to range, you know, it has the ability to shoot the same distances as, as uh, any AEG. So therefore, you know, shooting three shots, you know, uh, uh, 60, uh, 30 rounds a second, you know, at 65 meters. So, um, so it's quite weird in that it's CQB, but also a support gun slash area of effect weapon in that, uh, you know, you can cover an area with BBs at 60 meters very, very quickly. So uh, like I say, almost becomes quite dominating uh, in terms of um, uh, a gun uh, all from a you know this kind of package of a shotgun very weird uh, but uh, uh, unique uh, certainly uh, not necessarily weird but unique um, so yeah so FPS wise we're getting a 330 on twos uh, 274 on three twos and uh, 292 on um, uh, two eights so um so yeah it's uh, definitely up there in terms of uh, the the three two ammo and also quite a weird trend in that uh, it actually increases speed the heavier the bb gets very weird uh, so um, i don't often see that uh so what else have we done we've tested it like i say uh, slightly over hopping on two eights at distance uh, um uh, at 65 meters uh, and uh, on three twos it's kind of perfect so um uh, so obviously we probably recommend three twos but you can use two fives and two eights especially if you're, you're in cqb environment because uh, it won't make a difference uh, whether it over hops or not in that kind of environment uh, obviously we've got the warhead motor installed for the um improvement in uh, uh uh, efficiency uh, obviously the amp reduction uh, that comes there so therefore increased battery life uh, obviously these do have uh, the pre-built um, built-in um, TM MOSFET and it does have battery detection at 8 volts and obviously a, a LiPo can get to 8 volts relatively quickly and therefore kick in that detection so um, uh, so yeah so obviously the longer we can give you between that kicking in the better and obviously the warhead motors do that very well so we highly recommend them uh, and that's really about it, I think, for the build. Uh, so about it, it's quite a lot, um, but uh, it's pretty much our standard recommendation. That's uh, what's gone into this. Uh, obviously, it's the M95, and see how it got a really, really good um, uh, number there in terms of um, FPS when combined with those barrels. Uh, like I say, almost too high, you know. So, uh, but we'll test it now, uh, and you get some uh, rounds down range. pretty quick. I think there's 90 rounds in these. I've got Dean's connection on the back here and it's running a 1600 7.4. Uh, again, uh, with pretty much all of our builds, uh, TM ones anyway, uh, we recommend um, uh, for this build 7.4 volt. Uh, you use 11.1 uh, at your own risk, I'm afraid. There we 
go. Uh, a lot of rounds rinsed a really short period of time. So uh, we hope you enjoy it. Uh, everyone that's uh, had one of these is, uh, uh, enjoys it. Uh, so, uh, so I would be surprised if you didn't. Uh, but uh, feel free to obviously give us the feedback. Uh, uh, we hope you enjoy. And um, yeah, any problems, let us know. Thank you.